Hello everyone, my name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to DSP Self Learning Video Broadcast Solution. Today I am going to tell you how to pull CRM data into an Excel. So the business requirement is that we would like to extract or we would like to get the data from CRM within, into an Excel sheet. So there is no direct way to do this. So for this we need to take the help of a software. Or there is an online application available that we used to call it the Data Direct Cloud. So I'm going to take the help of Data Direct Cloud to pull the data from CRM and then share the, uh, then store the data into an Excel sheet or to display data into an Excel sheet. So let's see how to do that. So my requirement is I have got a dynamic CRM account and in this dynamic CRM I have got this account entity and in this account entity I have got around 10 records are there. Now my requirement is I would like to pull all these data all these records into an Excel sheet so to get that in order to do that first of all I need to create right or I need to register on data direct cloud which I have already registered and as you can see here it's a 30 days trial version so I have registered for a 30 days trial version what is data direct cloud how to register on it for this for more information on this you can visit my existing video in that video I have already explained this how to connect to data direct cloud and how to log in into data direct cloud so here first of all I am going to configure a data source with dynamic CRM so I click on data source so as you can see here that different data sources are loading so so as you can see here, I can connect this data or with the help of this data direct cloud, we can configure a data source with Salesforce, with Oracle, with Progress Data, or Maketo, or uh, Amazon, or Dynamics CRM, Hadoop, or MySQL Enterprise. Of okay. so my requirement is I would like to connect with Dynamics CRM. So here is my Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So I clicked on this. And I would like to connect to on cl the cloud one. So I select cloud, give a data source name. So I give BISP data source. Description, it is not mandatory. User ID. All user ID is not also mandatory. So we'll skip this. And you can see the user ID for the dynamic CRM account. So basically this user ID is for the dynamic CRM account we on to which we want to connect. So what will be the so I'm going to enter the user ID for this particular dynamic CRM. So that's my user ID and let me enter the password. Now next is we need an organization service URL. So to in order to get the organization service URL, I go to settings customization. then developer resources and within developer resources I will be going to get the organization service URL path so that's my organization service URL if I copy this URL make sure you get the complete URL I copy this and paste it here and then I will click on test connection so this is testing the connection so you can see here the connection has been tested successfully. So once it is connected successfully, I'll click on save. And the connection has been created. The data source has been established. You can see that the data source name. Now our next step is that I need to download the data direct cloud configuration tool. So for this, I click on download. And from here, I'm going to download Windows X64 or Windows X86 as per your system version. Just download the ODBC driver on your system and install it. Once you download and install it, you will get this kind of link so that you can see I have already downloaded and installed it. Progress Data Direct Cloud Driver for ODBC 32-bit. So this I have already downloaded and configured it. Now my next step is that I would like to pull the data from Dynamics CRM into my Excel sheet. So I'm going to open Excel. And in this Excel, I click on data 
and within data you can see we have four options from access from web from text and from other sources so i click on from other source and click on from microsoft query when i click on microsoft query you can see here the new data source and bsp new dsn all these names are coming so first of all we need to configure the dsn so i'm going to create a dsn first so for this i'll open this and progress data direct route for odbc odbc administrator i'm going to create a new system dsn or oh, sorry user dsn or system dsn it depends upon your requirement so i'm going to create a user dsn click on add and here i am getting data direct cloud 2.0 click on finish data source name so i'll give a name my dsn that that's the name dsn name and database name this database name will be the odbc database name which we created on data direct cloud so that will be the data source name bsp data source so i copy this data source name from here and paste it here and click on test connection when i click on test connect it will ask for a username password now here we need to provide the username password for the data direct cloud so i give my username and password for my data direct cloud and click on okay so you can see here the connection has been established successfully the connection is tested successfully i click on okay and okay so the my dsn this data source has been added now we'll be going to connect to this data source within our excel sheet so i switch to excel from other sources from microsoft query okay it's already connected so let me close it and open again from microsoft query and here i am getting my data source name my dsn which i which we created just now so i select this and click on okay again it will ask for a username password so that's the login id password for the data direct cloud so again i in, input that and click on okay so it's connecting to data source and a query builder will open so here you can simply click on cancel as well if you want so okay yes and it will ask for add tables basically it's a microsoft query builder so it will ask for add table now my requirement is that i would like to pull the data from account entity so sales and accounts so from here i'll add the account table here so this account table will add here so this is added now we need to pull the data we need to add the columns one by one so i'll click on records and add columns and i'm going to add the columns one by one so first i'll look for name name is the account name and click on add So you can see here I have added the various columns like the name, address, city, address, state, revenue base, and now if if you I would like to apply a filter here. So we have here record and criteria, add criteria. So I apply a criteria, not total, and uh, the field level category. So I want address city. So I want address. Let's say I would like to apply filter on address state. So I write here address one underscore state province. Address one underscore state or province is equal to t t x and add it. So you can see the filter has been applied. So if you want to pull the extract specific data, you can apply a filter or you can close it. And if you want to remove this criteria, we can remove the criteria. Remove all criteria. So it will remove the criteria and it will display all the records. but still the data is in query builder it's in microsoft query builder it's not in the excel sheet so now i click on file and i'll say return data to microsoft excel so when we click on this return data to microsoft excel it will extract the data from dynamic crm and it will ask us the location whether we want to extract uh, whether we want to view the data in the form of a table or pivot table report or pivot chart and pivot report so i want to go with the table so i select table and click on okay so you can see here it's a message as is flashing here waiting for the query to be executed so the query is executing it's pulling the data from that again and then the data will be refreshed and the ex the extracted data will be display here in the form of rows and columns in this excel sheet so it may take some time it depends on the speed as well so 
so once the data is pulled and extracted you can see the records are displayed and you can change their formats here based on your according to the requirement you can change the do the formatting and we can apply filter as well for example if i if i only want to see the record which is whose state provinces or city is dallas so we can do like this or we can remove this filter as well and again if you want to do any modifications into it if you want to refresh this or if you want to apply any filter on this so we can again go to data and again we can apply a filter this is to remove the filter or apply a filter or this is to refresh from CRM we can refresh it and you can see here workbook connection this in this workbook the data is connecting from query from MSDN so from this MSDN you can drop you can refresh it if any changes has been made in the dynamic theorem you need to click on this refresh and the data will be refreshed and if you want to remove the connection or if you want to add a new connection we can add a new we can establish a new connection or we can remove the existing connection by using this workbook connection as well so it may it may take time to refresh because it will connect it will execute the query and it will pull the data from dynamic theorem and then it will display the data here so it may take time so just wait So the data has been refreshed and there are no changes has been made so I close it so this how we can pull the data from dynamic CRM into an Excel sheet so that's all in this video if you have any questions or if you have any queries you can visit our website www.bsbtrainings.com or bsbsolutions.com you can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on dynamic CRM you can look for, you can visit our website for our training program on dynamic CRM have a nice day. Goodbye.